very basic Java FX project here, and I'm going to modify the FXML of the project to uh, change the graphical user interface. I copy and paste this code from another project that had a like a namespace or um, another folder, so I just got rid of that. Um, this FXML is associated with my controller.java, and I've added a tab pane with a couple different tabs, and it's not totally necessary, but to help organize my code, I'm going to put the FXML for the different tabs into different files. Again, this could be done another way, but this is going to be nice and clean as the code gets larger. All right, so this line associates this FXML file with another controller called tab1 controller. That's going to be the Java code that can have, has the methods and uh, other actions we want associated with this, uh, this tab. Right, so I've made another uh, FXML file for my second tab. And now I'm going to make the controllers. And I'm pasting in some code that I'm provi I've provided for you in the description of, for this video. Now, I'm also going to show you some things that are going to go wrong and how you might fix it. Right, this is going to be a video where everything just goes smoothly. So here's one where I ran it and I got an exception in the start method. That's not a very good uh, descriptive message, but going through my files, I do see some things that are in red, and that's a pretty good indication that there's something wrong. I right, still have another exception in start method. Right, we'll start as in main, but there's really nothing in there. I know that's solid, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I didn't see any red in any of my other files. There's some gray. Gray just means it's unused. Uh, getting rid of it's not going to fix anything, but just going to clean it up a little bit. Um, so I had not changed my controller. Right? I had my old code in there from the controller. The controller needs to have the code that actually switches between the different tabs. So that was not happening before. So now I paste that code in there and it is working uh, with that basic functionality of just showing those labels. Now I'm going to take that previous video and code a step further by adding another tab because that'll introduce uh, some more errors and more opportunities to learn. And so this tab pane had two tabs in it. Um, before I add a new one, I'm just going to modify this existing one. You can change the text uh, property of a tab with no problems. That's not going to influence anything other than the graphical user interface. When you go to change the ID, it is going to make a change. Uh, it is going to mess things up. It is good to have good descriptive uh, names for your IDs. So if I wanted that tab, you know, if I was making this project to be about bicycles, I might want that first tab to show all the bikes. Uh, so all bikes tab would be a good name for that FX ID. Now in the controller, I still have that other name, tab one. And... If I run this program with that existing uh, tab one name, it's not going to work. See, I get a load exception from it trying to, but it's still not a very descriptive error message. Nothing in red in my code, so I've got to become an investigator and try to figure out what's wrong. Uh, and that looks like part of the problem. We've got the FX ID in the FXML has one name and in the controller it has another name. And once I change that, then I do get red elsewhere and I'm going to update it in the other location where it's referenced in the controller as well. And now the program is back to working. So I always change one little thing at a time, try to get it to work. So here's a better way of renaming something rather than just uh,
typing over it. Again, you can type over the, just the text property of, of any of these controls. That's not really gonna change anything. Um, if I was making this bicycle program, what would be another thing I would want on another tab? Maybe I wanna add uh, another bike. So maybe this is for a bicycle store and they uh, get a new bike shipment in or something. All right, so by doing refactor rename, the IDE is gonna update references of that name elsewhere for you. So to give you an example, um, back in the controller, right, it, was, it was tab two right there. But down at the bottom of the IDE, uh, when I do this button where it says do refactor, it's gonna update all these references and I won't have to worry about uh, going in and manually changing them. That's very handy, especially as your program gets larger. So always get in the habit of double clicking, right clicking, and refactoring uh, when you want to rename something. All right, so it works. We're making one little change at a time, making sure it still works, uh, giving more descriptive names. And now let's add a new tab to see if what kind of problems that creates and how we might be able to fix it. Uh, so again, maybe it's a bike shop that, that sells bikes. So we want another tab, uh, the sell bike tab. Now, if we're gonna keep the same structure, which is a good structure, we're gonna want a, another controller. Uh, we wanna update this include statement to uh, reference a new FXML file as well. So I better create a new FXML file. I'm just going to copy uh, this tab to FXML and paste it and name it tab three. Uh, I should refactor and rename those file names eventually as well. because Those are not very good descriptive file names, but uh, there's a label on here that says tab three. And we want to associate the controller for this FXML file to be a new uh, controller file as well. So I'll copy this tab two controller and paste it in the Java folder, naming it tab three controller for now. Then eventually I'd give it a more descriptive name. Uh, looking at tab one, its controller is tab one controller. Tab two should be tab two controller. And now tab three, the tab three controller went from red to green because it did find the tab three controller in the file structure. Uh, always try to run the program as soon as you can. Tab two says tab two, but tab three does not say anything. So there must still be a problem with tab three. Uh, the problem before had something to do with our controller. It was the the overall controller that I hadn't put something into before. Uh, oh, we need to fix that as well. We need to say that uh, that tab should be associated with tab three FXML. So we've made one little change to see if that fixes anything. Oh, that said tab two now, and that said nothing. So let's double check. Yeah, it should say tab three. Looking at the overall controller, this is what handles the code uh, for what happens when the program first starts up and things get clicked. All right, so let's copy this code, which is loading the different FXML files. You don't have to fully understand what this is yet, and you can always look stuff up. But it looks like there's a, a section for the first tab and a section for the second tab. So let me copy this section for the second tab and paste it. And I'm going to make a different anchor pane. Anchor one, anchor two. Let's go ahead and just call this one anchor three. And we want to just double click copy, double click paste. We want to load. Uh, tab 3.fxml um, when we get to that tab. 
Oh, still says three on two and nothing on one. There's gotta be something else we need to fix. How about, oh, where it says, where we're setting the content. And I see on line 38, it says, uh, that's the add bike tab set content for anchor two. Right, on tab uh, line 28 for tab one, it's doing the all bikes tab set content for anchor one. So when that tab is clicked, we are loading the FXML uh, for tab one. When tab two is clicked, we want to uh, load tab two FXML and not set the content for all bike, but set the content as add bike, which line 38 is doing. So line 48, we don't want to load the content uh, for the add bike tab. We want it to be uh, the sell bike tab, which does not have an object Okay, so sell bike tab is the FX ID, in fact, of that tab. So we need to create an object in the controller for that control. So I just copy and paste that one and use the FX ID from the other file. Try to run it and finally we're good. Right, so you'd want to refactor, rename those file names to something more descriptive.